Hey guys, Rio here with another video for Blender. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create a stains on the glass for cycles. Now, in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to add materials, glass materials for EV cycles and viewport. In this one, we're going to um, use the setup from cycles from that video, but I'm going to add additional stuff to it and show you some cool tricks. So. So to create the glass here, we're going to use the same setup of nodes, which means I'm going to just add a mat and remove this junk. And let's press Ctrl Alt space. So we're going to have more space and we're going to add glass here. So uh, glass and transparent. And then we're going to add mix shader. This one, plug it in here, move this one here, this one a bit lower as well. Okay. Plug this one here, this one here. We're going to add light path and path nodes. So literally the same setup. Okay. So the value to one, this one to minimum and factor. Cool. So now that's the uh, glass setup. If I'm going to go back, you can see now that we are glass. And now make sure that uh, you're going to enable under material settings, enable this transparent shadows. Otherwise, you're going to have shadows. You see, I put a sun in here. Okay. And if you don't do that, you're going to have, you know, clear shadows so that this plane here will cast shadows. Okay. You don't want that. All right. And, uh, you know, the rest, the rest should be fine. And um, I would suggest going a bit higher in transmission here, at least seven. I usually set these two to eight if I'm gonna, you know, render glass. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, we're going to add a few nodes, okay? So we're gonna add color ramp. Um, so color ramp, and we're gonna plug this color ramp to roughness, okay, of the glass. So we're gonna drop the color to roughness, okay? And I can see that I can adjust the roughness of this glass by simply sliding this black slider, okay? This one's gonna make it a bit more milky, okay? But this one's gonna make it transparent, so. Uh, but I'm gonna plug a few things in here. So Control T with Node Wrangler, which will add these three nodes, which are basically identical to what you have here uh, for the HDRI, okay? So it's the same thing basically, okay? Now I'm gonna add a texture here, and um, you can grab any texture really. I'm gonna grab like, a, um, it's a rust texture. You can grab it from sites like Pexels or Unsplash. It's just free textures, doesn't matter, okay? So scroll down here, just Make sure you, you find something cool that looks like stains or leaks or whatever. Uh, rust usually is the best for it. Okay, so let's grab rust. Okay, and you can clearly see already that I get some you know interesting effects here. But we're gonna refine it a bit. Okay, so we get more control over it. First of all, we're gonna do is we're going to change the uh, the way this uh, texture is being projected from flat to box, and then we're going to a switch from UVs because we didn't unwrap this to object. So boom. Uh, you could also drop here uh, the um, vector transform. Not necessary, but you could if you wanted to. Uh, you know, and um, default settings are fine. And now what you can do is you can adjust the amount of these scratches, okay, on that glass by simply sliding this black slider here, okay. You see now you get this kind of like a distressed glass, okay? And uh, in addition to all this, you can adjust the uh, rotation scale. So for example, if I rotate uh, on Z-axis by 90 degrees, I'm gonna get kind of cool horizontal, you know, scratches. So there you go. Um, you know, and you could play with it, you know, do whatever you want. But basically, um, that's how, you know, I would add some dirt or like distress to glass. It's a really easy method. All right, guys, well, that's it. Uh, for this video hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did and i'll catch you in the next one